Yes, hello, good morning, Amma. Good morning, sir. Are you able to good morning, see? sir. Yeah. Yeah. PPT is visible, Amma? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. In today's class, we will discuss uh, some more uh, programs on Apa Loop. Uh, yes, please go to the PPT. So here, uh, I want to print my output like this. So here, I want to print the numbers from 1 to 10. And the numbers should be like uh, some uh, up to 5. The numbers are in horizontal fashion. Then from 6 to 10, the numbers should be in vertical fashion. So I need to print the uh, numbers like this. So to print the numbers like that, so general, what is the general procedure? I want to print the numbers from 1 to, 1 to 10. So to print the numbers from 1 to 10, so I need to assume the range. So here the range is, 1 is the starting range, 11 will be the ending range. So here the ending range will be excluded from the uh, uh, from the range. So therefore the numbers, the, it will print the numbers from 1 to 10 only. And the uh, numbers also, uh, we should print the numbers from 1 to 5 in hard in the fashion and 6 to 10 in vertical fashion. So to print the number, the simple logic is, so for i in range, for i in range 1 to 11, if i less than 5. Yes, any doubt? Somebody has raised his hand. Any, any doubt? No, sir. Okay. So, all of you like with your role members? Anil Reddy, Chaturya, Anusha, Akila. So, rename name with member. Chandana. Okay. So here uh, to print the numbers like that, okay, my logic is if i less than 5, if i less than 5, so up to 5, up to 5, we need to print i n equal to within colon. So here if you write the uh, print statement like this, it will print the numbers in hard general fashion. Else, otherwise, if i is greater than 5, if i is greater than 5, we need to print the numbers in a vertical fashion. We need to print the numbers in a vertical fashion. Therefore, Else print I like this. Simply print I. So please note the program. We'll run the we'll run the program with ideally, Python ideally. So some other uh, logic is there. So please go to the second program. So here I need to print the same numbers 1 to 10. And the numbers are from 1 to 5 in a hard end or from 1 to 6. From 1 to 6, hard end of fashion, and the remaining will be in the Sir, sir, 1 to 6 are in the vertical fashion and uh, remaining will be in the hard end of fashion. Uh, here we can write up to 5 also. From 1 to 5, i less than 5, print i, else print i and equal to single quotes. Therefore, uh, half of the numbers will print in the vertical fashion and half of the numbers will print in the hard number fashion. So, please note that these two programs. Please note the two programs. We'll run with ideal Python ideally. Yes, make it fast. Please note the two programs. So here the logic is, so here uh, we need to print the numbers from 1 to 10 and 1 to 5 will be uh, horizontal fashion and uh, 6 to 10 will be in the vertical fashion. <coughs> so here if i less than 5, so here the logic is if i less than 5, if i less than, let us assume 1, first, one is, first number is 1, 1 less than 5, then 1 less than 5, then come to the print statement, print 1. 
and uh, because it is in the vertical uh, horizontal version, we need to write the print one end. Therefore, the number will be printed as one. Then again, it goes to the loop. Next number is two. So because it is an infinite link, uh, link uh, loop, go to the two. Two again, it will check the two less than five is not are there. So if it two is less than five, then again it will come to the print and it will print the two in what horizontal version. Then again, i is incremented to three. Then go to the three. Three is less than five. Then it will print the three. Three. Then four. It will go to the four. Four less than five. When four is less than five, again it will print the four. Then again five. Five is less than five. Generally, five is less than five. Is generally uh, it's a wrong statement. So here we need to write five is less than or equal to five. So when five is less than or equal to five, then only it will consider. Otherwise, it will come to the else statement and it will print the remaining numbers. Similarly, here also, as completed our program, then I will execute the program using Python ideally. Yes, are able to see the program Python module. So here, just I'm running the program. Yes, run the program. So here, if you run the program, so it is a program for i in range 1 to 11. If i less than 5, print i, n, else, print i. So it's a simple program. Here, if you run the program, so here I'm sharing the output. Let's check the output. Here it, it will print the numbers 1 to 5 in hard random fashion, then remaining will be in the vertical fashion. Yes. Please note the output. Okay, we will see the other one, second program. In the second program, in the second program, are you able to see the program? In the second program, so here I am writing print i, then here I am changing the command n is equal to, so this is the second one. So if for i in range 1 to 11, if i less than 5, print i, else print i and n in the single quotes. So to print the output in vertical fashion, 
directly we can write the print i to print the output in a rm fashion we need to write the print i comma n equal to semicolon so run the program we run the module then the output is so i am sharing the output this is a new output and check the output yes are you able to see the output Or we can do some modifications also in the program. Yes, program is visible, am I right, man? Clear? Yes, sir, visible. Uh, just here, I'm changing the uh, program slightly. So here, I can write i less than or equal to five. Right, I less than equal to five. If I run the module, then check the output. So here the output is like this. If it is I less than or equal to five, if I if it is I less than equal to five, so the print output will be like this. The previous one is I less than five only. Now, which is I less than or equal to five. I less than or equal to five. So see the difference between a previous output and present output. Again, we can change the uh, program again. So here I'm modifying the program. So here in place of i less than or equal to five. So here I'm writing i less than six. I less than six. Then what will happen? We check. I less than six. Just run the module. The output will be similar to the I less than or equal to five. So here I am sharing the program uh, output. Just check the two outputs. So previous one here we have uh, read the code by using I less than or equal to five. Now it is second case is I less than six. So this is the output I less than six. This is the output when I less than or equal to five. For both the case, the output will be similar. So, like this, uh, we can uh, run the program or we can write the program. So, depending upon our requirement. <coughs> yes, we'll go to the other program. Yes, are you able to see the program now? Yes, sir, visible. Now, next one. So here I need to print the uh, numbers in the reverse order. So to print the numbers in the reverse order, so what is the logic here? I need to print the numbers in a reverse order. Uh, to print the numbers from uh, 6 to 0, I want to print the numbers from 6 to 0 in the reverse order. So here I can print the numbers from 0 to 6. So here I want to print the numbers from uh, 6 to 0 in the reverse order. So then uh, that the numbers should be print in a horizontal fashion. So to write, to print that, so here what the logic is, for i in range 6, so 6 is the uh, starting one. 
then minus 1. So minus 1 is the, if you write minus 1, minus 1 is the ending limit. So here if you write the ending limit is, uh, if you assume the ending limit is minus 1, it will print the number up to 0. And the step size. Sir, Sir? Sir, hello, sir.
Yes, sorry, ma'am. There was some power problem. Sir. Ah, sir. You do power problem, ma'am. Not visible, sir. Ah. Not visible, sir. Ah, okay, okay. That is power. Power will be there. Okay, sir. Ah. Suppose uh, now the problem is I want to print the numbers from six uh, to zero in the reverse order, and uh, the numbers should be starting from six. An ending will be an ending, and the ending the number is zero. So to print the numbers, so always the range is six to minus one because minus one is the ending range. Uh, the minus one will not be included. So therefore, it will print the numbers from six to zero uh, minus one. The range here the step size is minus one six. Five, four, three, two, like that. So if it is plus one, it will be increment. Minus one means it will be there will be some decrement in the numbers. And the numbers should print in the horizontal fashion. So to print the numbers in horizontal fashion, fashion here we need to write print i n within some single quotes. You please note this program, small program. The same uh, in a vertical fashion. For i in range five minus one. Minus one. Yes. Somebody has raised hand. Any any doubts? Akash. First, you log in with your roll numbers. Charan Sai, Akash, Gayatri. So rename with the row, ever row numbers. The same. I need to print the uh, numbers in the reverse order, and the numbers uh, will be uh, that they should print in the vertical fashion. So to print the vertical fashion, just we need to print right i print i for i in range five minus one minus one. So here it means uh, five is a starting number. Minus one is the ending number. If minus one is the ending number, it will print it because it will it will be excluded in the range. So it will print the numbers from five to zero only. So five, four, five, four, and the number next number is three, two, one, zero. Because the number uh, uh, final number will be it is minus one. The range is from five to minus one. Five will be included and minus one will be excluded. Therefore, it will print the numbers from five to zero in vertical fashion. Please note the two programs, two small programs. Please note two small programs. A print the red output also. Yes, completed. Completed, sir. Uh, next, next one. That's the next program. So, it, it, the number, the program will be the uh, similar uh, to the previous uh, program. So, here I need to print the output. Uh, we need to print the output in the reverse order. I need to print the output in the reverse order from ten to one, and from ten to six. From ten to six, the numbers should be in horizontal fashion. And from five to one, the number should be in the other fashion. Like that, we need to print the numbers. So here we need to use the same logic that is used uh, the previous one. So here for i in range ten to zero minus one, because we need to print the numbers in the reverse order, we need to decrement the numbers. So ten to zero means ten uh, is the starting number, zero is the ending number. Zero will be excluded. Therefore, it will print the numbers from ten to one. And the numbers from ten to six should be in the horizontal fashion, uh, vertical fashion, and the remaining numbers should be in the uh, horizontal fashion. Like that, we need to print the numbers. So here the logic is for i in range ten zero minus one minus one will be the step size because it will be, it need to, we need to de the, decrease the numbers. If i greater than five, if i greater than five, print i. So i greater than five is up to 
six it will print the numbers up to six it will print the numbers then print i so the print i so if the numbers uh, it will print the numbers in the uh, vertical fashion then else else print i end equal to semicolon uh, within some single colon so it means uh, if i less than five if i less than five we need to print the numbers in the horizontal fashion so therefore we need to write the statement as print i comma end equal to some single quote this is a simple logic to print the numbers in the reverse order and some numbers in uh, vertical fashion and some numbers in the horizontal fashion Yes, please note the program. This one also. Okay, then we will go to the next one. So it is uh, some different type of program. So here I need to print the some strings. So here the strings are apple, banana, and cherry. So there are there are three strings. I need to print the three strings. So here to print the three strings, fruits. I am assuming some variable. Variable fruits is a variable. Fruits equal to apple, banana, and cherry. So there are three strings in the variable fruits. For x in fruits, where x is some available again. For x in fruits, for x in fruits, print x. Where x is also a variable. So here, if you write the program for x in fruits, print x. Therefore, it will print the all three uh, strings in the horizontal fashion. All three, all three strings in the horizontal fashion. Same as the numbers. Next, so I want to print the. Uh, I want to mix the. Uh, let us assume there are two variables. Another program. One is a A is a adjunct. Adjunct. A is a is a one variable. Fruits is a one variable. So I need to map the uh, each one. I need to map the each one. Suppose I need to map red with apple, banana, cherry. Then big with apple, banana, cherry, and tasty with apple, banana, cherry. So to match that, so here we need to write the program logic as. So here, uh, uh, at A D J is one variable. Fruits is a one variable. So in A D J we have the three strings, and in fruits again we have three strings. For X in range, for X in, for X in A D J, A D J some variable. For X in A D J, for Y in fruits. So there, these are the two variables. X is one variable again. For X in A D J, for Y in fruits, print X comma Y. You need to print X comma Y. So here, if you write this, then it will map the each uh, string in the A D J with fruits. Red with apple, red with banana, and red with cherry. Similarly, big with apple, big with banana, big with cherry. Then tasty with apple, tasty with banana, and tasty with cherry. Please write the program and our uh, output also will uh, verify with the Python and GLD. Yes, completed or not? Please complete it, then uh, we'll execute the program with Python and DLE.
Yes, I'm sharing the program. So this is a program. A is A equal to red, big, tasty. There are three strings. And fruits equal to apple, banana, and cherry. Again, there are three strings in the fruits. For X in, A is A. Again, for Y in fruits, we need to map the uh, two, two variables or two strings. Then print X comma Y. Print X comma Y. So, so here, if you run the program, if you run the module, then output is, I'm sharing the output. So this is the output after run the program. So red is mapped with apple, red is the map with banana, red is mapped with cherry, and big is mapped with apple, and big is mapped with cherry, banana, and big is cherry, tasty apple, tasty banana, and tasty cherry. So this is the output if you run the same module, same program. Yeah, please note the program output. This is the program. Please note the program and the output also. Yes, completed. Then I will share the other one. Yes, see the next program. Nested loops. Next one is nested loops. So, what is the nested loop? Already we are discussing it. Implementing loop within a loop is called the nested loop. So, here uh, we need to write the uh, Python program by using the for nested, nested for loop. So, here write the Python program, write the Python program to print pillar output using nested for loop. So here we need to print the output as one, then two two, next three three three, next four four four, next five five five. So this is the output I need to print. So to print this, so what is the logic used here? So here we need to use the uh, simple logic. So this is a simple program to print the numbers like this. So so here we need to use the uh, nested loop, nested for loop. So nested for loop means already uh, for loop is within for loop, we need to use the other for loop. So for i in range 1 to 6, because we need to print the numbers, the starting number is 1 and ending the number is 5. To print the ending number 5, we need to choose the number as 6, because 6 will be excluded, up to 5 only it will print the numbers. So for i in range 1 to 6, next for j in range, for j in range i. For J in range I, J I means here we need to we need to choose the numbers as I equal to one or I equal to two, I equal to three like that. We need to choose the numbers. So here for uh, we need to print the numbers in the fashion one, then two two, three three three, four four four, five 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 like that. We need to choose the for J in range I for J in range I. And the numbers, uh, we are printing the numbers as a hard number fashion. Each number in a hard number fashion. Therefore, print, print, so print i 
at n equal to some space within the single quotes. Then all these numbers we need to print along the vertical fashion. So then just write print within empty brackets. So here print print within empty brackets. It will print the numbers in the all the numbers will be in vertical fashion. So here one two two are in three 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 are in the horizontal fashion, and all these are in the vertical fashion. So to print all the numbers are in vertical fashion. Here we are using print empty space within bracket empty space. So simple logic is here for i in range one to six, for j in range i, for j in range i, print i. So if the j number j is in the range of i, then we need to print i. Then we need to print the i. It means suppose first let us assume i i equal to one. When i equal to one, then it will come to the j. For j j in range of one, for j in range of one, then print the one. Next, it will go to the next again. Uh, come to the first one. So it will choose the number two. So here number two for number two again for i in range of for i in range of one to six. It is in the number same range for j in range of two. For j in range of two means so it will print the numbers two times. Two times. So like that, uh, it will compare the numbers and it will print the numbers up to five. Let's try to run the same program using Python module. Let's check the program. Check the small program. Please note the program for i in range one to six. For j in range i, print i. N within single quotes, then print i. Run the small program. This, this completed, we will run the program. Please note the program. Yes, I'm running the program using run module. So here, if, run, if I run the module, it will display the output. Here, I'm sharing the output. Yes, please go to the output. So here, the output is one. Two two three 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 four 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 five 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 like that. So similar type of programs we will discuss in the next class. So similar type of programs we will discuss in the next class.